It's winter off South Africa's east coast. And one of the biggest chow down events on Earth is about to take place. Hundreds of millions of bait fish are swept north on cold water currents. Trapped by land to one side and warm water on the other, they form dense black schools, some 15 kilometers long. Known as the Sardine Run, this unique event is like a dinner bell. Hundreds of sharks head to the feast. Black tips, spinners, and copper sharks form one of the greatest gatherings of hunting sharks on Earth. And they're not alone. Vast superpods of over 1,000 common dolphins track the growing shoals, followed by huge flocks of birds. And leviathans, like the 17-meter-long Brutus whale. Every year, for the last 10 years, cameraman Mornay Hardenberg has set out to find the sardine shoals. The sardine run goes through cycles. Some years are really good, some years no sardines come through the area. We never know before the time. So you just have to be there and hope for the best. In 2010, Mornay got lucky. We looked up onto the horizon and we just saw flocks of birds raining down into the ocean. And we knew that there's potentially a bait ball there. So we raced over there. Then when we got there, you could actually see the fish boiling on the surface. Dolphins were working the bait ball hard. It's mind blowing how fast things happen. The currents push the sardines closer and closer to shore. The ocean's ultimate chow down has begun. But when I got into the water, there was a mass load of sharks below the bait ball, but they were just slowly cruising and circling. I was just amazed to see how many sharks and how many dolphins there really were. It was mind blowing. Dolphins were spinning. I could hear them communicating with each other and they were pushing this bait ball up to the surface. Trapped, the terrified fish have nowhere else to go. And once they get it up to the surface, that's when the birds start taking advantage of it. Once the birds start hitting the water, it's like cannon fire going off. It's literally like being in the middle of a war zone. Diving from heights of 30 meters, the Cape Gannets hit the water at close to 100 kilometers per hour. With the bait ball at the surface, finally, the sharks join the feast. It took one shark to go through this ball. And once the one shark went through and started feeding, it's almost like he pulled the trigger and then more just came in. It was just chaos, just sharks everywhere. The sharks, they swim straight into it with their mouths open and take as many bites as they possibly can. And you can actually see all the scales of the sardines coming out of the gills. When you're in the water with a bait ball this size, it makes you feel really small. But some 20 minutes into this extraordinary event, Mornay was about to feel even smaller. A 15-meter Brutus whale joins the chow down. The few remaining fish scatter. The feast is over. 
your heart is pounding. At the end of the day, uh, it takes a while before you calm down from an event like that. So what really struck me from this bait ball was how patient the sharks were and how they waited for the dolphins to do all the hard work before they came in and made their move.